hey what's going on everyone hope you all are doing well this is Tito back with another video and today in this video i'm gonna show you how to install the omni rom based on android 8.1 oreo on redmi note 3 so without further any more delay let's make it happen so first of all you need to go to these links download the rom and g apps all the important links will be listed in the description box below so do not worry before proceeding, make sure you have backed up everything, you have an officially unlocked bootloader, TWRP recovery installed and you are doing it on your own risk. So as you can see, I am on official lineage OS right now. So let's boot the phone into TWRP recovery. I am on TWRP 3.0.2 slash 2 right now. So let's just wipe cache, Talvik cache, system and data. Now go to install and locate the ROM and GApps file and install them and boom I faced error 7 because this ROM is recommended to be flashed with latest TWRP recovery. So let me just install the latest TWRP recovery which is 3.2.1 slash 0. So now switch the phone off and boot into TWRP recovery by pressing and holding the volume up and the power button together. And let's try to flash the ROM and G apps now. And as you can see, it's flashing all right now. So, once done, hit reboot system and wait for the time being. So as we are booted into the system, let me complete the setup process. So as I am done with the setup process, this is how the stock launcher looks like. And these are the stock apps this ROM comes preloaded with, except for the UC browser and wallpaper app. They are there because I am restoring my Google Cloud app data backup. Let me take a quick picture here to show you guys if the camera is working fine. And yes, it works fine for me. Here are the stock launcher settings. The stock launcher is cool and all, but I'm gonna be installing the pixel launcher later anyway. Here is the Omni Switch app. This is some kind of edge display like feature which you can find on devices like S6 or S7 Edge. And here it even shows the real time RAM information and you can tinker it around to pin any app or something like that. And you can even switch between your recent apps pretty quickly from here. And here we have Omni Clock. This is a normal clock app with some pretty handy features, I guess. Here is the about phone section of this ROM. As you can see, this ROM is based on Android 8.1 Oreo. Here you can see the kernel name and version, if you are into that. And if you tap on the Omni version, you will find a game here, which is named as Oreo Hunt. A pretty cool game. If you are into that, here is a small gameplay for you guys. And game over. Well, not a bad score I guess for a beginner like me. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And in the system, you will find the system UI tuner by which you can turn on or off the icons of status bar, quick settings panel, etc.
and at this point I tried to place a call via Geo Vault DE and it was a failure. Later I find out that the APN was not there. So I had to set it manually after doing that Vault DE started working normally. And here is a demo of the same. Features like little transparency of the quick settings panel and rounded edges of icons of Android 8.1 is present here and the toggle animations look amazing to me at least. Even the Bluetooth battery icon is present here so that's cool. And the power menu looks dope as it comes up from the power button side and we even have advanced power option here so that you can boot directly into recovery or bootloader. So conclusion, the performance of this ROM is pretty good and the RAM management is pretty good enough too. And here is the benchmarks of this ROM if you are into that. So now let's talk customizations. In my opinion it's a pretty legitly customizable ROM. By going into the settings and then Omni gears on top you will find all the customizable settings. I am gonna go through them one by one. By going into the style settings and you can change the system UI style to dark or light as you are liking. Here as you can see the quick settings panel has turned dark. And you can even set a header image if you like for the quick settings panel. This is just an option to show a logo of OmniROM if you are into that. From the buttons section, you can customize the buttons if you want to and you can enable or disable advanced power menu option from here and for some reason home button long pressing feature for google assistant is not working here for me right now i don't know why and from the bars and lock screen you can enable things like double tap to sleep which is working fine and from here of course you can enable network traffic if you want to but i use internet speed meter app so I am gonna leave it disabled anyway. And from here you can customize the notification light and it works fine. And in the more settings you will find some advanced things like CPU clock speed and stuff. Fingerprint scanner, VOLTE, mobile data, torch, face unlock. Camera, everything is working fine here in my testing. I will be posting about the battery life later on Twitter and share the link on this video's pinned comment later today or tomorrow, so do not worry about that. Only thing I could not find in this ROM is an option to turn off the heads up notification. So that's pretty annoying for me, but we have to live with it as of now because it's a pretty early build of this ROM it's still unofficial but you can give it a try if you want so that wraps up this video guys hope you have enjoyed it if you did please feel free to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to our channel right here and thank you so much for watching this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off I'll see you in the next one bye bye now